All right, so we're back with some more Fey content, and we have the next update notification for Fire Emblem Heroes. So let's go ahead and check it out. Now, we know we're getting two remixes in here for two mythic heroes, Regan and Triandra, but we don't know what their weapons do yet. We saw their new passive skills in the um, Fey channel not so long ago. So what, what else is in here, actually? I'm wondering... All right, so the first thing we're starting off with is the skill inheritance update. So after this update, we're going to be able to go up to five passives inherited all at once, which is obviously very good. Long-awaited update. They, I mean, five is not even enough. We, we should be able to inherit full kits by this point. They should just let us inherit the entire base kit of the character, I think. That would be fine. But, I mean, the way that they're doing it now is still pretty greedy but at least five is better than four so we will take it okay the next thing is going to be a feature displaying a list of active effects on units will be added so the glossary basically you click on this exclamation mark and in the middle of combat you're going to be able to go ahead and read through all of the start of turn bonuses and penalties that your unit has active on them very helpful especially since we've entered the start of turn meta where like every single unit is coming with like 10 start of turn bonuses now so very good stuff there very easy to keep track of what's going on and it's way better than waiting for the icon to flash on screen a lot of the icons aren't even that like descriptive they're very vague sometimes like you can't even tell what it means like the ones with the arrows pointing left like you can't tell like is that guaranteed follow-up or is that negate follow-up or is that instant desperation or what Right, so like there, there's so many overlapping of icons that this is very useful. Okay, next up, skills that appear in the top chamber of Hall of Forms will be updated. So skills that have an even higher SP cost will appear in the highest chamber, chamber 25 in Hall of Forms. Oh, that, okay, so that basically means you got to play the top level floor in order to grind for your skills for your Hall of Forms former units. Prior to this, I would actually play the lowest stage that has Infernal Difficulty because it's easier to win the fight and also you're still getting like two possible skills for each passive slot. So now they took it a step further and they gave more incentive to play the final floor by doing it this way. So you're actually getting better skills that have a higher SP cost like Gold Border stuff are the only ones that are going to show up and that's going to make it easier for people to find specific skills that they're looking for so that is very good all right new skills added for the mythic heroes we've seen these already but just to reiterate we'll go ahead and read them again so regan is getting Seder shell plus three hit cooldown and at the start of turn one and also turn four she gets minus three cooldown count and then she boosts her damage by 20 and also calculates using the lower of the enemy's defensive res so it's adaptive damage, 20 points of bonus damage, and it auto-charges itself on two possible turns, the first turn and the fourth turn. I think the New Year Regan did that as well, where she like automatically cools herself down on turn one and turn four. So not bad, not bad. Regan is still one of the few mythic heroes that I still actively use, even though she's pretty old by this point. Just having Kanto 3 is just so helpful. And then she also has Panic Smoke 4 now as her updated skill. Before this, I think she had Panic Smoke 3. So they just played it safe and gave her a level 4 upgrade of what she already had. They, If they wanted to be real nice, they would have gave her Flared Sparrow or something like that. Considering what they gave Triandra, I mean, they might as well have given her Flared Sparrow. Okay, so our girl Triandra here is getting Frightful Dream Plus. So it's a dance skill. And when she dances, she's inflicting all stats minus 5, guard, and discord on the foes in cardinal directions of her, and also the targeted dance ally on their next action. So, pretty good dance effect. Discord is one of the better debuffs to do. It's basically just reverse altome, where the more enemies that are close by to the target enemy, they're going to suffer stat drops. And then guard is okay, and then all stats minus 5, also pretty good. So, a solid dance and it's also going to come with the upgrade for Firestorm Dance 3 for her. Insane that they decided to give that to her on her B skill. Like, this is... Th this may just be a must run on every dancer. Like, Firestorm Dance is so potent. Giving you Kanto 1 after you dance. And then 
attack and speed up six and instant desperation to the target ally just so powerful so really nutty super meta skill that they gave out on this unit which is awesome okay the range of equipable skills for rearmed and attuned heroes will be expanded oh Following this update, rearmed heroes and attuned heroes will be able to equip their original exclusive skills as well as arcane weapon skills and attuned skills inherited from other heroes at the same time. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so... Plumeria here has Death Blow Echo. And normally you would not be able to do that because, like, Death Blow Echo is a attuned skill from the Triandra, the Attuned Triandra. So you would not be able to run that in tandem on Plumeria with Cloying Dreams, but now it looks like you're going to be able to do that. And then the same is said for Peony as well. Over here, she's got Arcane Lucina's Axe, and she's still running Attack Oath Echo, which is her Oath skill, or Echo skill, rather. So that's pretty good, I guess, for the Attuned Heroes, but wh why not just allow every unit to do that? I don't understand. Like, is it that big of an upgrade for Legendary Ike if he can't run, <laughs> like, Radiant Ether 2 in tandem with, like, Oath Echo or Death Blow Echo or any of that stuff? I don't understand. Like, they might as well just let everyone use the Echo skills regardless of having PRF passives or whatever equipped. But it is what it is. I guess that's a nice little buff for the Attuned Heroes, though. Oh, wait, actually, hold on, no. Um, it's attuned and rearmed, too, so not just the tuned heroes. Rearmed heroes as well are going to be able to do that. But regular heroes, nah, they, <laughs> they just get the chef. Alright, summoning events are being updated. Four-star special hero rate is being updated. So we, we've already seen the list that's in the Fate channel of which characters are becoming demotes. So they added new demotes to the four-star special rate pull and also the special hero special rate pull. So... A bunch of seasonal units and also regular 5 stars have been demoted down to 4 star now. So that is good. Alright, arena is being updated. So free summon reward for getting 5 wins in arena will be updated. Th that makes sense because they just added a bunch of demotes. So they're adding those new demotes to the arena reward summon where you get your arena ticket. So that that's going to be nice to be able to pull some more options in there. Okay, we're also getting new maps, which we saw. The, no one cares about arena maps. <laughs> like, what, what is the big deal? Just keep the same maps that they have. It doesn't make any difference. All right, lineup of Ephemera Codes is changing. So these are going to be our next set of Ephemera Codes. We have Azel and also the Valentine Owain coming in. Owain is a nice merge to get, <laughs> more so than anything. I can't remember what his weapon did. I think it was called Piercing Tribute. I do not remember what that Lance did, but I, I think it's okay, but it's certainly not okay enough to compete with, like, some of the recent weapons we've been getting, or Arcane Lances, for that matter. Azel has Red Duel Infantry, I think. Could be wrong about that, and I think he has Ruse as well. He has, like, Speed and Res Ruse. So th that might be okay when we get the level 4 version of that, like, as some pickup fodder, <laughs> but... As it stands right now, not the greatest in terms of fodder on the two red ephemeras. Or the two five-star ephemeras. And then for the four-star manuals, we've got Henry. We have Female Shez. We've got the Tea Time Tail Tube. We have also Arthur and Bastion there. So not too bad. I mean, Bastion, Tail Tube, and Shez are all decent merge projects. So that, that's not too bad to be getting copies of them there. Okay, then we're getting these guys as our upcoming refine set. So, Regan and Triandra, of course, we knew they would be in there. All right, who's that? Fiora is in there? Okay, so Fiora from FE7. Interesting. Then we have Bernie. Oh, man, another W for Bernie fans? Come on. Bernie fans eating good, right? She won Choose Your Legends, and now here she is getting her refine. Okay, Baby Kata, don't be surprised if Baby Kata ends up being, like, hella meta. Because <laughs> she's a melee flyer, and her weapon gave her instant vantage and effective against, like, half of the game. So, I, I could totally see that Baby Kata end up being, like, an insane unit. She was also recently in a Hall of Forms as well. I built her up just in case, and I was waiting to see what her refine did before I decided if I was going to form her or not. So, I guess it's about time we figure that out, right? 
Then we also have Base Rinka, and then we have Ashnard. Ooh, yeah, Ashnard could also end up being hella meta. He's got a pretty good weapon where he's giving himself IO Shield. He does a rain effect to attack and defense minus five on foes in two spaces. And I think he did one more thing. I think he might have had Distant Counter. I can't remember, though. I, I could actually check that. Hold on. We have Ashnard... I might have put him away in the box, but yeah, I'm, he might be in my barracks here. Let's quickly take a look. Okay, so Ashnard is a sword flyer. Here he is. Okay, so Gurgarant was IO shield, defense up three, and attack and defense minus five on foes in two spaces. Okay, so I gave him this encounter. It wasn't he came with this encounter. All right, that's perfectly fine. Maybe they will give him this encounter on the refine. Who knows? <laughs> but, yeah, it always bodes well for these melee flyers when they get refines. Because a lot of them ended up being really good. It, all they got to do is give him true damage based on defense and he'll be cooking. And then you give him, like, Guard Bearing 4 or Gambit 4. You give him Guidance 4 or Soaring Guidance. And then all of a sudden, he just becomes a monster. You could also give him Attack and Defense Prime 4 as well. So, like, lots and lots of good stuff for these melee flyers. All right, what else we got in here? Hero's Journey is being updated. We're getting some more Memento events. <laughs> okay. Th this time, it looks like the walls are closing in on Kieran and Alphonse there. <laughs> so they got to pull the lever to stop the walls from closing in. All right, Aetherite structure, structure is being updated. Panic Manor is going up to level 12. Okay. We're also getting new tracks added to the Concert Hall. A World of Sorrow from Path of Radiance, and then Beyond the Crossroads from Three Houses. I remember Beyond the Crossroads, but I don't remember A World of Sorrow. <laughs> like, I, I don't remember these tracks by name for the most part. Like, I can remember them if I heard them playing in the background, but I wouldn't re just remember them by name like that. More favor level added to Summoner Duels. Okay. They always do that. And then we're getting three new characters added to the Heroic Rail Shop. So Validar, also the Winter Claude, and then the New Year Kana. So pretty good ones. New Year Kana is actually a solid merge project as well as the Winter Claude. Validar as well. Like all three of these are actually pretty good. Like Validar is a nice DPS option with his debuff weapon. Claude, of course, can score decent. And then he's also... He's got that really sick weapon, which... Like, gives you special ramping before you attack, similar to the way that Rally Spectrum works. And then Kana is just like a god lance in disguise as a dragon type. So, pretty good stuff there. Nice update on the horizon. Let me know what you guys think about all this stuff. And this is your boy Tasho signing out. So, take care, fellas. I'll catch y'all again on the flip side.